The final essay of Hannah Arendt's Between Past and Future begins with a question, has man's conquest of space increased or diminished his stature? The question was asked in 1963 for a symposium on space by the editor of Great Ideas Today and queried the effect of space exploration on man's understanding of himself and his own condition. Taking this and inspired by Arendt's preference for defining herself as a kind of phenomenologist, our exhibition moves between theoretical and phenomenological considerations of space and its explorations by three remarkable artists. We begin in Gallery 1 with three minimal paintings by the Brooklyn born and raised artist Elaine Rychek. Exhibited for the first time in the UK and originally shown in New York in 1975, these works transgress the sacred surface of the canvas by piercing through it with a needle and thread. By introducing the domestic and handiwork into the narrative of the male-dominated minimalist movement of 1970s America, she asserts her presence and undermines the strict rules surrounding minimal abstraction. In Gallery 2, we present the work of fellow New Yorker Sylvia Plymouth Mangold. Plymouth Mangold harnesses in her paintings and drawings these same qualities as Rychek, but she hones in on the line in physical space as a literal measuring device. Her early works from the 1970s, as with the 1973 painting, Study for Opposite Corner, show meticulously rendered images of walls and floors. Painting the rooms of the houses she lived in and representing them in their mundane natural states with a meticulous representational rigor, she plays with both perspective and her audience. By choosing to focus on the home, Mangold also engaged with some of the broader concerns of feminism, often featuring piles of laundry on the painted floors as an homage to her other job as a mother. This obsession with represented space featured in her later landscapes, the locust trees of 1987 and winter maple and pine from 2007. Painted on site near her home in upstate New York, these works reflect her lifelong interest in nature. Typically painting a series of works from one vantage point, she questions the veracity of painting versus photography, as each rendition is wholly different from the last. Like Arendt, she queries the prejudices of the human mind as a conduit to express scientific and mathematical processes and theories. Gallery 3 follows this train of thought, presenting the work of Zambian-born British artist Carrie Young. Young's investigatory practice stems from her own interests and in research into economics, law, politics, science, and communication. With Contracting Universe, a large-scale print depicting a digital rendering by NASA of the surface of Mars, the viewer is fooled into thinking they are viewing a sublime mountainscape in the vein of Caspar David Friedrich. This continual searching, a desire to understand and comprehend infinite space, is expounded on in Report of the Legal Subcommittee. A framed celestial map combined with a found transcription of a United Nations meeting in which various international delegations struggle to devise a legal definition of outer space. This struggle underpins two new photographic works by Young in the exhibition, Faculty of Law, Oxford University, and Prison Yard, Beveren, Belgium. The former documenting a notice board in the law department of Oxford University, and the latter a section of wall in the exercise yard of a prison in Belgium. The images appear as a night sky or celestial map, abstracted to the point of being meaningless without the context of the titled attribution. This wish to conquer space is shown to be totally redundant and foolish by Young's work. This final part in our Hannah Arendt program illustrates the continuing impact of Arendtian thought on modern day life as we continue to search for truth. On Hannah Arendt, The Conquest of Space is accompanied by a new sound piece by Brazilian artist and musician Leima Leighton available to experience via Saltoon online on the gallery's website.